Hello, my name is Steve Kramer, and I am the business librarian for the ENT BUS 206 Start Something class. Really means That really means my job is to be a research consultant for you as you pursue your business model in this class. You can contact me on campus and also off campus. I'll show you how to do that and options for scheduling me in just a second as we get into my research guide. But just basically, I want to emphasize that my role is to help you save time reduce stress, get better results on your research, maybe even get a better grade. So please let me know what I can do for you this semester. And let me now switch into discussing my research guide for the class. So here is my research guide for this class. There's a link to this page from Canvas. You can also, of course, just type in the URL you see on screen right now. And I mentioned options for contacting me, and you can see them over here on the side, including emailing chat if you want a quick response, assuming that I'm logged in at the time. Uh, if you want to see me in person or in my WebEx classroom, you hear that noise, sorry, notice that this consultation link is here and you can pick a time that works for me and this will add you to my calendar automatically and also send you an invitation to add it to your calendar. So very easy way um, and as well as other options that you can see lower down as well, including the WebEx classroom I already mentioned. So we can be online as well as in person. And there is a lot of tabs here, more than I usually like to do in a, one of these guides, but there's a lot of topics you cover in this class for your business model. And that's why we have, for example, demographics, both local and statewide, market data, industry, competitor information, financial research, and trade magazines. And these guides, all these pages all include links to recommended resources. Some of them are things we pay for. The library buys databases, really. Those are professional tools used by businesses and research consultants, you have access to them too. So this is free, high quality data. And just for example, on the markets page, the first link is Mintel, which looks like this. Oops, like this. Uh, this is free to you, as I already mentioned, and you can use this off campus as well as on campus. This guide though, or rather this report here, market, marketing to sports fans, would cost $4,000 to an outsider, to a business buying the support, to a consultant who needs the support. You get free access, but you're getting access to really expensive stuff that is high quality content you can't find for free online because it costs money to do research and publish it. And that's why you get these, some of these very detailed topics through this guide, which you can download as, as Word documents or as PDF files as well, or PowerPoints or Excel. Um, so example of high quality stuff, Mintel in this case. Another example, also on this markets page, Simply Analytics is listed, which looks like this. This is a mapping tool that covers about 30,000 data points. And here we have, for example, a survey question, how interested are you in keeping up with latest fashion? So fashion conscience, fashion uh, you know, forward people, in this case here in Durham. And notice as you zoom in a bit, you can actually see street names and you can see exactly where we are. You can download maps or tables as spreadsheets or as images. There's a huge amount of data in this thing. So another example of a value added source that we provide for you through this live website. One other example from this list of indus is, is industries, including IBIS World. IBIS is a good foundational starting point for your business models. I just looked up, for example, party supply rental. And we can see the nature of the industry, like what supply industries are and demand industries, industry size, market share, uh, breakdowns of the market by product category, even forecasting. Is this industry growing or not? And we can see down here that it has uh, very small growth over the next six years or so. It is a mature industry. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's been around for a while. It's, you know, it's an old industry. So that's the example of, of IBIS world. So in other words, look at these different categories here because you'll see a lot of good high quality content that will help you get your research done for the business models. And you're required to do citations for these research. And that's why I also give you a citation guide. It has a PDF document here which you update every six months or so. And for example, if you use that party rental document in IBIS, how do you cite it? Well, click on IBIS world here. And notice there's two examples. So this is a template, really, for citing IBIS. You would just have to change the author, the date, and the title to whatever report you found for your industry, for your business idea, your business model idea. And likewise, Simply Analytics. How do I cite a map? I downloaded from Simply Analytics. Well, here's how you do it. And again, you would just change the date, perhaps, the name of the data. So in this case, I was citing some family income data, wealthy people, and the date. And that is basically a model, oops, I didn't mean to do that, sorry, of how you can cite your sources. 
And finally, I have a lot of videos. Now this video that I'm doing right now is not meant to show you like how to do everything. That would take too long. It would, you would get bored. I would get bored making it. Instead, I have a bunch of short three to four minute videos on core research topics. And you can get to those from the master tutorial page here. But also in each of these topics, like financials, how do I do financial benchmarking? Uh, video down here on BizMiner. So you can find videos on my different subject guides by topic, like financials, as well as in the master tutorials. And I think that's about it. So once again, please let me know what I can do to help you out. I'm happy to help with you. I enjoy working with students. And remember, remember that you can see me on campus, but also email me, chat with me, schedule a WebEx consultation with me, or schedule an on-campus meeting with me as well. And that's enough. So thank you very much. Good luck this semester, and I look forward to seeing you later on.